This is tutorial 4-3 uh, in chapter 4 of the GIS tutorial 1 workbook uh, for ArcGIS 10.3.x. Uh, so we're on page 152 and we just finished up uh, tutorial 4-2 and um, I was wondering about these heavy lines here. You know, if I turn off tracks, they appear to be black. When I turn that on, uh, they, that's just not an optical illusion. They are, uh, turning blue for some reason. And I don't know what the reason is, but they're still darker than the other ones. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. So, uh, what we're going to do in this, uh, tutorial is we're going to modify an attribute table. The attribute table is the data that is hiding behind a layer. And uh, so we want it to uh, choose tracks over here and right click. We want to open the attribute table. So that's all the data uh, that we have for each tract on the map. And uh, in the table, we want to right click the header for state FP10 column and click delete field and click yes. So state FP and let's right click and choose delete field and then say yes and they're right it can't be undone but uh, we can always go back to the original file for this and start over if we delete something that does not should not be deleted okay we also want to delete tract ce10 that's this one and i'm going to see if i can do a shift click or control click uh let's try a control click on name 10 and we can so we can select multiple columns here and do this all at once name lsad 10 which is this one and mtfcc 10 and funkstat 10 and we can right click and let's choose delete field and choose yes and uh, this apparently is the only data that we need uh, to draw the map that they want us to draw. Um, so uh, it says close the tracks table so we'll close it and under your turn uh, we want to delete fields from the cities layer so let's go right click on the cities layer and choose uh, open attribute table and um, okay now it's telling us what to keep but we should tell us what to delete um, so we got to keep shape in there uh, we got to keep uh, object ID uh, geo ID 10 so I'm assuming they're doing these in order and so the ones in between here maybe uh, we can delete and let's do a control click on those okay uh, we want to keep geo ID 10 we want to keep name 10 uh, we want to get rid of this. I'm assuming the next thing we're going to encounter is going to be shape length and we got some scrolling to do here. That's not everything. So um, shape length and shape area. So we can take this and this and this and this and this and delete all of them. So right click and choose delete field and choose yes. And now we have a did not delete all those fields for me did it uh, maybe I can't let's try and right click and let's delete field and yes and I'm sorry it's only deleting one at a time for me so that's kind of a pain right click delete field yes um, we want to keep uh, object ID yeah, let's go back we want to keep uh, Object ID shape and geo ID 10. So right click on this and choose delete. I can't believe there's not a way to do multiple deletions here. Uh, let's try that again. Right click, delete field. Um, nope. Okay. And I'm just going to pause the video here. There's no point in watching me delete all these fields. So we'll pick up again after I've deleted everything. Okay, I finally got rid of all of those other columns. And now we're left with these six. Um, 
it really doesn't matter whether you leave them or not. We're not going to use them, but you know, having some extra columns in here doesn't hurt anything. It just takes up a little more space. So uh, it says to close this when we're done. And now we're on the top of page 153. And uh, whoops, I got my lines goofed up here. Uh, this is still supposed to be. Uh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, let's go here and go to, uh, actually, let's just click on that. And we want it hollow again, and we want these to be heavy lines. And click on OK. And actually, you know, I should put that on top. I've got that backwards. So that's why the lines are, are turning up blue. So let's put that on top. Now that they're hollow, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, Actually, it does matter because now I can see these black and it's not drawing a thinner blue line on top of it and making the whole thing look blue. So now I'm where we're supposed to be and uh, we are on the top of page 153. Modify a geocode. Okay, so in the table of contents, right click on the census tract data. Uh, let me see, where's my census tract data? So here it is and I want to open and I want to sort on GeoID2, so right click here and do a sort ascending. And so these are my ID fields here. And then it says close the census tract data and open up the tracks attribute table. So let's go to tracks here and let's do its attribute table. And um, we also have a GeoID10 here uh, this field right here and we want to sort that in ascending order as well and um, so these numbers um, are the same I and mean, we can't see this but we're taking their word for it these are the same as in the other table we had a minute ago uh, these have a leading zero though and they're left aligned which means they have been stored as text fields uh, the other one was stored as number fields um, so that's a little bit of a problem uh, so we're in the tracks table right here and we want to click the table options arrow and then we want to click on add field Okay, so we want to go up here and click on the down arrow, and we want to click on Add Fields. So we're going to be adding a new column over there on the right side of our table, and we have to give it a name, and we're going to call it Geo ID 10 N U M, and uh, for the name field, we want the type to be double, which will give us um, 15 digits of precision and uh, click OK. Okay, now these are all null. And what we're going to do is we want to take these numbers that are text over here and convert them into actual numbers and put them over here. So we want to right click on this uh, column heading and we want to do a field calculator. So we're going to actually give it a little formula here for telling, figuring out what to put in there. And um, and then click on yes here and I think I'm going to click on don't warn me again and uh, so now uh, we're going to do a little formula here telling it how to compute that value so um, in the field panel double click so here's the list of fields and so that's the field panel double click GOID 10 uh, GOID 10 it puts it down there and you see up here it says GOID 10 num equals, and then we're going to put this down here, and click on OK. And um, actually we didn't have to, have to do any conversion at all. It was smart enough, that's kind of nice, that it took these text values over here, which have the leading zero, and they're left aligned. And the leading zero is gone now because you don't normally display leading zeros with numbers. And they're right aligned. So we converted everything into a number. And now we want to close the tracks table and open the census tract data table. So I can close this and I want to open the census tract data table. So let's do open. And now we're on um, 
page 154, and we're going to calculate a new column in this one as well. So in the census tract data table, click the table options arrow. So here's our table options arrow. And um, click add field. So there's add field. And we're doing the same thing we did just a minute ago. And this is going to be R N A T W H T. And the type is going to be float. And it says this is the, what that R N A T W H T stands for is the ratio of Native Americans per capita income to white per capita income. Um, I'm not sure you'll remember that when you see it, but that's okay. Uh, number three, in the census tract table, census tract data table, which is where we are right now. Um, I didn't click on OK. Click on OK. Um, click the table options arrow again and click select by attributes. So we're going to go here and I'm going to do select by attributes. And so we are going to select... Um, some of the rows here. So in the select by attributes dialog box, scroll down the list of fields, double click WHT PC income. So uh, let's look for WHT PC income. So that must be white per capita income. And uh, double click and um, click the symbol button. And let me see, I'm looking for the symbol button here. Um, I'll click the greater than symbol button. Gotcha. Um, and click get unique values. So it's going to give us all the values that are in the white per capita income field. And um, we want to double click zero, so we're going to get everything that is greater than zero. Um, click the unique, uh, see, click get unique values, and I didn't do that, so let's back up a second here, and uh, well. Okay, so it says these actions create the expression WTPCI income greater than zero, and that's what we have. And click on apply, and then we want to uh, it closed that for us, and I don't think we want to close our table yet. So uh, right click the RNAT WHT header here. So um, so right click and we're going to calculate a field for this. Okay. And, um, so we want the field calculator and in the field calculator window, we're going to double click the NPC income. So the Native American per capita income, uh, right there, double click it and, um, Okay, click the slash button. So we're going to uh, do some division here. So it's going to be the Native American income divided by the white per capita income. So double click on that and uh, click on OK. So it's going to take, it's going to make a fraction out of that. And um, in, so in columns where we don't have any uh, per capita income for Native Americans. We're going to get a zero for our ratio, obviously. And let's see if we have any zeros here for the, um, let me see. Um, I'm going to do a right click here and see if we have any dividing by zero. So let's do sort of sending. And uh, yeah, see these have a null value here. It can't be computed because you can't divide by zero. So it just leaves that as a null value, which means basically there is no value in that cell. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, we can close this now, and I assume they'll worry about that later. And now we're on, um, your turn at the bottom, uh, but, uh, we're about out of time for this video here, so we'll have to do that at the beginning of the next video.